Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Thunder Bay Press. They've recently released this Star Wars Galaxy of Stickers Dark Side book that is pretty amazing. It contains over a thousand Star Wars stickers in various art styles, and I think the best feature of this book is that on the back of each page it has the art for each sticker so that after you stick them you still have the art in the book. This would make a great Christmas gift for any Star Wars fan. Check the link in my bio to get your own. All right, let's get started with our roll for bread. Three, apple strudel bread. This bread has real apples and cinnamon baked right in. Not a bad start at all. Next up, let's roll for main. One, canned liver pate. I've had liver pate before, but not this specific kind from Croatia. I'm not averse to liver, but uh, we'll see how this is in particular. It is very moose-like, has almost a whipped consistency. We shall see how this plays out. Next up, let's roll for cheese. One, Baby Bell. Baby Bell minis again for the second episode in a row. Not that I mind, they're delicious. So far, this probably won't be terrible. Hopefully I don't have to heat this one up because I don't think that pate will do too well in that situation. Next up, let's roll roughage. Two Kool-Aid pickles and six radicchio. So these pickles are very fitting for Halloween. They are pretty much black because they have grape Kool-Aid in the brine. They basically taste like when you were a kid and you got a hold of a Kool-Aid packet and you thought it was gonna be the most delicious tasting powder in the world, but you didn't realize that it didn't have any sugar in it and was just super sour. And yeah, that's kind of what it tastes like. And then we have some radicchio, or Halloween lettuce. So we've got a pretty spoopy sandwich. Next up, we have Wild Magic. Two, candy corn. All right, I guess we're just going full Halloween on this one. I'm in the middle about candy corn. I don't think they're the worst thing in the world, but they're not the best thing in the world. They're just kind of a thing. I can tell you from experience, though, they're not the best on a sandwich. And last but not least, we've got the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 15, South African chutney. If you're unfamiliar with what a chutney is, it's basically like a jelly or a jam, but used in a more savory application. For example, this chutney is made of peaches and apricots, but also a lot of vinegar. So it's not like the sweetest thing in the world. It's meant to be eaten on like meat and stuff like that. Let's get our toothpicks in to hold our sandwich together. And let's pew pew our sandwich in half. Pew pew. And let's take a look at that cross section. Well, that's a rough one. Well, the dice gods have said it's time to get into the Halloween spirit. And that spirit seems to be malevolent. I'm gonna do my best here to keep this all together, but I'm gonna have to clean up some candy corn when I'm done. <laughs> let's give it a taste. Yeah, that's, that's not great. That pate has a little bit more of an aftertaste than I'm used to and is not a fun texture paired with everything else here. Those pickles are weirdly intense and the candy corn is a textural nightmare. That chutney's good. I wanna try it on something else, but I'd say skip serving this one at your Halloween party unless you're inviting all your enemies. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 1.1 today and I'm gonna call it the curse of the black pickle. All right, Earl, I hope you're hungry because these dice have done me wrong. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on Friday.